Good morning. How are you? I hope you're taking care wherever you are. This is Mr. Richards going to take you through an English lesson. And today during our English lesson, we're going to look at verbs. And under verbs, you're going to look at forms of a verb. What is a verb? What is a verb? Simply speaking, a verb is a doing word. It is said a verb is a doing word. Now, at the level of the grade 7, we are also going to add something else. In grade 4 and 5, we are taught that a verb is a doing word. It is true, but there is something that is going to be added to us because as we, as we advance, then language also is supposed to advance with us. A verb is not only a doing word, a verb also shows something we call state. Why do I say this? Let us look at these two examples of sentences. One, he eats food, which is the verb here. Where is the verb in this sentence? This one. Two, he is, I mean, uh, a lion is a fierce animal. Is there a verb in this sentence? Is there a verb? Yes, there is. This one here. Now, if we stick to saying that a verb is a doing word, then he eats food. Eating is an action. It is doing. Correct? A lion is a fierce animal. Is, is our doing one. It does not show action. It shows state. But it is a verb. Because all sentences must have verbs. So we have showing action and showing state. So verbs that show action are called dynamic verbs. And verb, verbs that show state are called stative verbs. So that is that. What does the verb do? A verb shows action and a verb shows state. Now for us to advance and to know how to use what we call tenses properly, then that's why we have to look at forms of a verb. For you to be, uh, to be good at tenses, you must know the different forms of a verb. How many forms of a verb are there? How many forms of a verb are there? There are four forms of a verb. Which are these forms? One, we have the present participle. We have what you call the present participle. Then here we have what you call the infinitive form of a verb. Infinitive or the basic form of a verb. Infinitive form or the infinitive then we have the past form of a verb the past form of a verb and lastly we have what we call the past participle the past participle of a verb so we have the present participle the infinitive the past form and the past participle of a verb. We are going to give examples and we are also going to show uh, the functions of this, these different forms of a verb. I want us to go together. So for example, let us just take a very uh, simple example. For example, the word eat. Eat is in the infinitive form. The infinitive form is the present form of a verb. The infinitive form is a present form and is the, it is the basic form of a verb. Infinitive is the basic form of a verb. Before you change the verb to the different forms, then the infinitive form is what starts. You change the infinitive form to the different forms of a verb. We have it. What is the past form of it? It changes to it. 
What is the past participle form of it? It is eaten. What is the present participle form of it? What is it? Yes, correct. Eaten. Uh, we are going to look at another example, then we are going to see the different uh, uh, functions of the different forms. Another example, the word drink, the infinitive form, and I've said the infinitive form, the basic form of a verb, we change the different forms, we, we have the different forms of a verb from the infinitive form. We have, what's the past form of drink? It is Drunk. I want, I want you to look at the spelling of that. Past participle form is drunk. D R U N K. What is the present participle form? It is drinking. My dear people, if you master the different forms of a verb and the functions, then you will not have a problem in forming any tense, you will not have a problem in forming any kind of conversation because you will have mastered this. We have people who have problems with this because they don't know where to use what. Now, drink, drunk, drunk, drinking, eat, ate, eaten, eating. Where do you use the different forms? The infinitive form is used in the present to show present. It is used to, to form the present, the present, the present simple form. It is used to form the present simple tense, the present. Past. This past form of a verb is used to form the past simple form or the past simple tense. Past participle is the form of a verb that is used to form what we call the perfect tenses. The past participle form of a verb is used to form the perfect tenses. How many perfect tenses are there? We have three perfect tenses. We have the present perfect tense. We have the past perfect tense, and we have the future perfect tense. We form that. We are going to have examples. Then the present participle form. What do you notice about the present participle form? Yes, you're right. The two words end in ing. So what does that tell you? The present participle form is used to form the continuous tenses. It is used to form the continuous tenses, and the spelling of continuous is C-O-N-T-I-N-U-O-U-S. It is used to form the continuous tenses. How many continuous tenses are there? There are three basic continuous tenses. We have the present continuous tense. We have the past continuous tense, and we have the future continuous tense. So when you master the font of a verb, you can master tenses and usage of tenses. So let us, let us have an example using the infinitive form. I've said use it to form the present simple form or the present simple tense. I go home every evening or every day. I go home every day. The verb is go and it is in the infinitive form. This is the basic form. We can change this same sentence to past. So we have to change the, the verb to past. The other, the, other, the other parts of this sentence are not changed. What changes? When you when talk of past tense or when you talk of tense, we're talking about the verb. We are not talking there about the other, the, other, the other parts of the sentence. So, I go home, past tense, I went home. Maybe I went home yesterday. I went home. So, went, 
the past simple tense. Past participle. Are now there's something that that you go to look at when uh, when you talk of go. So the present the present form is go. Past form is went. Past participle is gone. And the present participle is going. So when you're changing this sentence to the past participle, you will be wrong to say, I gone home. It is not I gone home. There's something that has to be added to the past participle for it to make sense. And this other component of a verb is what you call the helping verb. It is there to, to help the, the main verb to have meaning. So I the helping verb that is used with the past participle is have. The helping verb that is used with the present part, the, the, the present perfect is have or has. So the helping verb that is used with the past perfect tense is had. The helping verb that is used with the past, I mean the present perfect tense is have or has. So I have gone home. We have used the past participle. So the verb is have gone. If we want to form the past perfect tense, then we can also have this. I had gone home. And when you're asked to underline the verb, then you'll underline the helping verb plus the main verb. So we have formed two tenses here. We formed the present perfect tense and the past perfect tense. The last one here. Going. It will be wrong for you to say, I am going home. It is not I going home. There is also another component, another verb that is supposed to be added before this one to form a good sentence. So, and, and that is what you call the helping verb. Uh, so, I have said that it is used to form the continuous tenses. We have the present continuous tenses, we have the past continuous tense, and we have the future continuous tense. And all these have the helping verbs. So in the present continuous tense, we have three helping verbs. We have am, um, we have is, we have are. So if we are going to use going to form a tense, this the present continuous tense, then we'll say, I am going home. If we are using I, I am going home. It will be wrong to say, I is going home. This is this going to, to be for another lesson when you're going to look at where to use what, which, uh, which uh, pronoun goes with which helping verb. We are going to look at that in a different lesson. So I am going home. Uh, if we are forming the, uh, past, the past continuous tense, I was going home. In the future continuous tense, I shall be going home. I shall be going home. So, this is just an introduction to forms of a verb. We are going to have a, a cleaner look at all the different forms. And uh, I'm going to give you notes on the same so that you understand it deeper. And I'm going to assure you that if you have this knowledge of forms of a verb, then you'll not have a problem with the different tenses that are there. I thank you so much for tuning in, for tuning in and I wish and I hope that you keep tuned in to this channel. Thank you so much.